Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back in another tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you how to do this 3D bullet effect. Uh, actually, Rambo Edits also made a tutorial, tutorial on this, but it was on Premiere Pro. And I would just show you guys how to do this on Sony Vegas. Anyways, big shout out to him. Uh, I'll link him down below if you want to go check him out. Also, shout out to Roxay for providing the Twixter preset. I'll also put his socials down below in the description. Anyways, let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, just before we start, you will need some sound effects and some overlays, which I will also uh, link down below in the description in one folder, so it's easy for you guys to download it. First, what you want to do is scroll zoom in with, with your scroll wheel and just find the best beat to sync your clip to. Um, I've got this clip of myself playing Fortnite. I'm not the best, I know. Uh, first off, what you want to do is instantly remove the audio. By doing that, uh, by doing that it will give you a cleaner preview. And you can add your own sound effects, which makes it way better and cleaner in my, op in my opinion. But you could leave it if you want to. But to delete it, you, ho you hold Ctrl and press U on your keyboard. And it will unlink the video and the audio track. So now you can go ahead and click delete on the original audio track. And you want to go ahead and find where the kill is you want to use in your clip. So that's right here for me. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now what you want to go ahead and do is press, go onto the marker and press Ctrl plus G on your keyboard and type minus 30 and click enter. So zoom in, click the clip again and split it. Now what we, what we did is we split the clip 30 frames before the kill. Next off, go back onto the marker and split it again. Zoom in and apply Rockside Twix or 30 frames, which will be linked down below. After you've done that, you'll see that there is a the next step will be is just apply your presets for your impact um i'll use one of mine which will be linked down below again guys i will link everything down below i use in this video so let's just quickly apply that it's called um i'm not sure again this one sanctify insane e impact it isn't the best, it's quite old. Save. Okay. Let's preview that. Um. As you can see, I don't have anything on it right now as of uh, Velocity or Twixter. So I'm just going to quickly apply some Twixter to it. It's optional, you can also use uh, Velocity. Wait, let me fit this. It's quite big since it was on my second monitor. Oh, like that. 400. And you want to put it on 479. Go plus 5. And put it on 30 frames a second. Fast fight. Now let's preview that again. That looks good. Okay, that's that for the impact itself. Now we are going to do the actual 3D bullet effect. So that's an overlay. You want to grab it and oh wait, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Drag it and delete the audio of it. And go and go ahead and find the frame where your shotgun is about to shoot. So for me, I'm going to stick with this frame. 
as you can see, the bullet doesn't move fast anyways. So, to get rid of the green background, go into video of X-Tab and type chroma. And then you will find this chroma here. And drag on the pur pure green screen preset. You want to go to a frame where the bullet is quite big and mesh with the threshold. So, for me, that's, that's good to me. Now let's preview that again. And as you can see the bullet falls right out of the gun. If it doesn't for you, you might want to reposition it. So this frame, yeah this frame looks good for me. I'm going to reposition it a bit, just slightly. So zoom in and push it position it to be right here like that and then you could just as you can see it moves out of the gun but I want it to be quicker to do that don't use velocity guys it will mess it up trust me so hold control on your keyboard and this little time stretch tool will come up and drag your bullet to the end point you like so for me that's about I'm going to say right here, I like it. And the bullet flies right out of the sky. Yeah, okay, now for the sound effect. So, you want to go ahead and find shotgun shot dot WHV or WHV in English. Sorry, guys, I'm not English or proper English. Uh, also fade in the bullet overlay a bit with this fade curve Yeah, okay now find where the gun is about to shoot for so for me that's Right about here. I would say this frame is good guys uh, As you can see sound effect isn't on point at the moment So cut off the dead end right there. Sorry for the mic bump guys going to the FX audio FX and you want to go ahead and find resonant filter. Put that on there. Find and find the muffler preset. And drag the slider to a, the wet and dry slider to about 22. 22, it looks good. As you can hear, a nice surround gunshot. Quite loud, it's louder than the song, so I'm going to. Now for the next thing is a bullet falling sound effect. Put that down there and go to where you see the bullet hit the last part. You see the last part of it there in the screen and you put the sound effect to start right there. So now if we... You heard that sound effect. That's what you want and yeah basically that's it for this effect and this tutorial anyways thank you guys so much for watching please go ahead and sub to me or even like the video if you think this video helped you and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video